When it comes to antibiotics, there are two types of people. The supporter camp believes that only with antibiotics can an infection be cured. On the other hand, the rejectors resist the idea of taking it as they generally understand the concept of inappropriate use of antibiotic and resistance. Are you one of these people? Let's get wise about antibiotics. What are antibiotics? Antibiotics, also known as antibacterials, are drugs that can kill bacteria or keep them from growing in the body. They don't fight viruses that give you a cold or the flu. If you don't take them properly, these drugs may cause the bacteria to change, which makes antibiotics less likely to work. That's called resistance. Therefore, if you have a common cold, you are infected with a virus, not bacteria. And as a result, antibiotics will have no benefit to you. Essentially, there are two types of antibiotics. 1. Bactericidal, which kills the bacteria. Penicillin is an example of a bactericidal that's used to treat infections of the urinary tract, chest and skin. 2. Bacteriostatic, which stops bacteria from multiplying and lets the immune system fight infections. Tetracycline is an example of a type of bacteriostatic antibiotic that is mostly used to treat moderate to serious acne problems. High doses of bacteriostatic antibiotics can work as bactericidal. Meanwhile, low doses of bactericidal antibiotics can work as bacteriostatic. Depending on the type of infection you are diagnosed with, your doctor will prescribe the appropriate type and dosage of antibiotic to treat your condition. Although antibiotics do wipe out certain bacterial infections, such as bugs that cause sinusitis, urinary tract infections and other ailments, remember, what doesn't kill you can make you stronger, and this goes for bacteria too. Therefore, when you are given a course of antibiotic to complete, a series of things must go right. 1. The infection needs to be susceptible to antibiotics. 2. The doctor has to prescribe the right drug with the right dose. 3. You must take the entire course, even though it usually goes well beyond feeling better. And 4. All the targeted bacteria must die. If one of these steps is missed, the bacteria residing in your body can build resistance to the particular antibiotic you are taking. Whether you're a supporter or rejecter of the use of antibiotics, it is best to visit a reliable doctor to obtain an accurate diagnosis. You should take note and inform your doctor about any known allergy. Trust the course of treatment that you are given and take them as you are instructed to. However, if you develop an allergy in the process, visit your doctor immediately to seek alternative treatment. Remember to share this video to those you care. Subscribe and leave a comment below to tell us what other health topics you would like to learn about.